So the reason that I'm first talking about supplements is my story with magnesium glycinate. I was working for six, seven years at the Wiseman Family Practice Clinic, which is a hormone clinic and nutrition clinic here in Austin. It has five different centers. And they were selling pure encapsulation, magnesium glycinate, 120 milligrams. And we were all assuming that you're giving the patient close to 120 milligrams of magnesium. So if you're giving it for headaches or for sleeping at night and relaxing or from muscle pain, because you know, magnesium is nature's captured sunlight. When a plant has chlorophyll and it follows the sun, you know, if you put a plant on your um, window seal, and as the sun moves around in the day, the plant will turn a little bit to follow the sun, and it's making chlorophyll. The center of the chlorophyll molecule is magnesium. That is why magnesium acts like captured sunlight. You take it, and you're supposed to feel a little bit like you're laying down on the beach. It's nature's Valium to be an analgesic to help you relax, but we weren't getting any of those responses from our patients on this product. And this was before Nestle, Nestle's bought Pure Encapsulation. So I was a little bit uncomfortable. People were taking two and three and four and they weren't even getting looser stools because magnesium also draws moisture and water into the bowels. So if you take more magnesium than you need, you get diarrhea. And if you take just the right amount of magnesium, many cases of constipation go away. Not always, but if it's a matter of hydration, your fecal hydration, magnesium is, is, is your man. So I called up Pure Encapsulation and I must have spent three hours on the phone trying to get a hold of somebody that could tell me what's going on. And I discovered that even though it was 120 milligrams of magnesium glycinate, so here is, um, here's this product that we were using and I couldn't get this to read the other way, but it says 120 milligrams of magnesium glycinate. After speaking with many of the people at the company, I was reassured that there was 18 milligrams of elemental magnesium in pure encapsulations, magnesium glycinate, 120 milligram product. Yikes. So in most cases, when you use magnesium interventionally, it needs to be two to three to 400 milligrams several times a day. If you want to use magnesium to try and get rid of migraines, you have to use maybe 400 milligrams three times a day, elemental magnesium. So when you read a label of a product, and if they don't state how much elemental mineral is in there, you don't know how much of that product is the carrier salt, which in this case is glycininate or glycerinic acid. It's the carrier salt. And there's only 18 milligrams of magnesium in this product. So if you are a dietitian or even a person, if you're recommending this to your patients or you're taking it yourself, you're getting very little magnesium bang for your magnesium buck. So I went to the stores and I started sleuthing out who had two to three to 400 milligrams of elemental magnesium because magnesium is very hard to hold inside the cell. The minute you're stressed, you lose magnesium. There's multiple studies that show that if just you live underneath an airplane path, so airplanes fly overhead when it's not the pandemic and there's more airplanes flying overhead, just the noise makes you lose magnesium in your sweat and your urine and your stool. There's all kinds of old studies where they stressed out ewes, the old animals from Australia, the ewes, and a variety of animals. The more, anytime they're under stress, they, they completely lose magnesium. So we live in a stressful world today and we could be stressed on body, mind, spirit level. The body regards stress as it, on any level as something to face and deal with. But while it's doing it, you're leaking out magnesium. And often to replete, which means to get a good level back in your body, of, in your cells of the right level of magnesium, you often need several hundred milligrams a day. Well, it's very hard to tell from most of the labels of most of the products how much elemental magnesium is in there. And that's one of the problems with minerals is that you really don't know when you buy a product, if you're buying something zinc picolinate, zinc um, orotate, 
uh, what, how much zinc is there or how much picolinic acid is in there. And that's one of the reasons I appreciate biotics because all of biotics products, all their labels are elemental. They're the only company that does that, which is why I actually, after this happened, I went to biotics and said, I want to come out with a female line and some other products. And we are launching them supposedly cross fingers in a few months. But the, one of the main reasons I did it was because this company tells you exactly on the label how many milligrams of elemental mineral there is. So if you're wanting someone with migraines to really give magnesium intervention a try, you've really almost got to go to the point where you create a little bit of diarrhea and then back off to make sure that you're getting the magnesium in the body to make sure you're giving it a try. But with most of the magnesium products out there, you really don't know what you're giving. And then you don't know if you're really giving, is this person insufficient in magnesium in their red blood cell levels? Is that why they have muscular cramps and migraines or the problems that they do have? And magnesium is a cofactor. You can read it in some articles say it's a cofactor for 400 enzymatic reactions. Some article says it's up to 1,000 enzymatic reactions. We know it's important to have magnesium, but you really don't know with most products what you're getting. So the products I kind of lean on now for magnesium are Integrative Therapeutics Trimag, because it's Trimag because it has 300 milligrams of elemental magnesium in it, or Biotics. But this really highlighted to me how important it is to learn how to read labels, 